The next note I want to look at is my note three, my fixed assets note. So normally in all your activities, they will give you a balance at the beginning of the year, all my balances, and I just need to make sure that this is the correct balances. So what I do is I go and read everything. A vehicle was sold on credit, the data will pay later on, no entries have been made. So vehicles will be fine. Equipment, diminishing balance method, note that new equipment was bought. This has been recorded. So my equipment amount of 560 will not be my opening balance. It will be my closing balance because they said that the new equipment was bought already. So next to additions, I'm going to put in the 50,000. So I then work back to 510,000 at the top. So that's my cost filled in. With vehicles, I start with 740 according to the activity. Uh, land and buildings is 3.27 million. Land and buildings will never have depreciation on it. I can fill in my depreciation amounts. I can even go and work out my carrying value. 740 minus that gives me a carrying value. My carrying value over there will still be 3.2 million. Over there I've got 200,000. Okay, I'm going to tackle, um, let's go, wait, sorry. Let's finish land and buildings. Nothing happened. They didn't say that I bought anything. So I just get my cost at the end of the year and my carrying value at the end of the year. Then I'm quickly going to tackle equipment because there's no um, selling of a vehicle or, any, or an asset. I just need to work out straightforward depreciation. So if I start then with equipment, I've got 510 at the beginning of the year. And the diminished balance method means I must subtract accumulated depreciation. Then I'm going to multiply with 10% and I had that for the entire year. They told me I bought the 50,000 halfway during the year. I'm just subtracting a zero to show you that we are busy with diminishing balance method, but because it's brand new, there's no depreciation at all. So therefore, zero. This answer is 20,000. Then 50,000 times 10% times 6 over 12 gives me 25,000 and then sorry I made a mistake I see it now on my calculator 100 times 6 over 12 give me 2,500 sorry let's just get 2,500 so then I get 22,500 rand for equipment and I'm going to fill that in over there. No disposals. 22,500 is my depreciation for the year. And then my depreciation at the beginning of the year plus the one during the year will give me my depreciation at the end of the year. And the reason why I can work from top to bottom is because I did not sell any of my assets under equipment. If I did, it works a bit differently, but it's now nice and straightforward and I can work out the carrying value at the end of the year. Now I'm going to focus on vehicles with specific emphasis on my asset disposal. When I do asset disposal, I draw up a little tick list for myself. And I just copy all the information that they gave me on here. It just helps me understand everything a bit better. And then I don't have to refer back to the question again. Then everything is here and I'm going to work with it over here. So the first thing I need is the cost. They gave it to me. Then I need the accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year. And I need the selling price. Depreciation I'll have to work out. So, cost price is 150,000. 
and accumulated depreciation is 60,000 selling price is 72,000 okay then I need to work out depreciation my financial year is September October November December January February March April May June July August because they said it ends in August when did I sell the car I sold it on the 30th of June so I drove around in my little green car all the way until the end of June now if I do that isn't that so clear I had it for 10 months it's on cost so I'm going to say 150,000 times um, 20 percent times 10 over 12 150 times 20 times 10 divided by 12 and then I get 25,000 Rand Wow so now my tick list is complete the next thing I go and I do is I draw a little box around that and I'll just write there the total of all my depreciations is 85,000 then I can also go looking at my tick list immediately the cost Minus accumulated depreciation will give me the carrying value. And my carrying value is 65. So when I go in there, I go and fill it in there immediately. 150,000 minus 85,000 gives me my disposals at carrying value 65,000. The next thing, yeah, so that, that makes it very easy. If you had to do an asset disposal account, I now have everything I need in there as well, okay? The carrying value is 65. I'm receiving more than the carrying value, so I am making a profit on my vehicle, okay? But now, we are still not done. I'm quickly going to show you over here. My total vehicles amount is 740,000 and I know 150 is the green one that I sold. So if 150 is green, I did not sell everything, I still have 590,000 left. I can go and split the accumulated depreciation as well because I've got the accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year and then I end with 208,000 over there. The reason why I'm showing you this is if we were doing depreciation on diminishing balance then I can use the blue, subtract it and multiply with the percentage I need. I'm doing cost, so I only need the cost of the vehicle that's left. And so that's my blue car. And I drove around in my blue car for the entire year. I did not sell it. So therefore, it's going to be 590 times 20% for the entire year. And that will give me 118,000. So my depreciation for this current year is the 118, this one, plus the 25. And that's what I need to enter in there. Okay, 118 plus the 25,000 gives me depreciation for the year 143. I did not buy any new ones. Okay, now I need cost at the end. I started with one, uh, 740 and it shows it over here. I sold 150, so my cost at the end will be 590,000. So that's easy. Getting my accumulated depreciation is a little bit difficult. Okay, what I like to do is I like to just quickly draw up my accumulated depreciation account. Okay, how does it look? I start with my opening balance of 268 then I need to add the little bit of depreciation that I worked out on the vehicle I'm selling that's the 25 then I need to take away everything that's going to asset disposal then I need to add the other depreciation for the year 118,000 
and then I work out my balance. So 268 plus the 25 plus the 118 gives me a total of 411. So both sides must be equal, so I know that will go on the debit side. Then I'm going to minus 85,000, and then I get my balance at the end of the year, 326. You don't have to draw this account. You do need to know what to add and what to subtract. So I'm going to put there 326 in a bracket. So 590 minus the 326 will give me the carrying value of my vehicles.